What's up you guys? It's me Sharice and I'm back with another video. But this video is pretty much a close friends season four one episodes one through six review, you guys. And also after this video, I'm going to do a tag video. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Well, where episode one started off. Um Tori and Nathan, you know, honeymoon stages, you know, are was turned a little bit. I got they got the chance to go over seas or something like that to go to the beach and have a ball. And honestly, it was like it was like oh, I see, I see where this is going. I see where this is going, honey. Cause y'all trying to catch up on. <laughs> And stuff. <laughs> Shit it. Okay. Like as soon as they got back or whatever, you know, Tori got a promotion and everything, and everybody, well, Tori's mom, sister, or and her sister, was happy about her promotion and everything, along with Nathan. But the thing is, Nathan on, but Nathan on the other hand, really couldn't get the prom uh, couldn't get a promotion from his job. I don't know if he got it or didn't get it in a sense, but it was like, the thing is with Nathan, is like, Nathan works hard for what he does, you know, fitness is his thing, you know, and it's like, fitness is his main passion, so it was like, well, he needs to like do something to make this even better, so, you know, it was like a big weird that he ended up quitting. Yeah, he literally ended up quitting his job. Oh, yeah, man. But, you know, I wouldn't say that it was for like, a good reason. I wouldn't say that he quit his job just for like, a, just because of the promotion that he'd been working hard to get got passed up to somebody else instead of him. Even though know, when he worked hard to get to where he wanted to be in the first place. So, I understand Nathan on that. But I do understand what Tori was coming from, which I'm going to tell y'all what happened in the other, actually in the other five episodes. Actually, one of the other episodes when Tori actually found out <laughs> that she, that, <laughs> wait, hold on. Now, on to Kira. In writing. Oh my god. Like, from what planet? Like, you say that you don't like Hakeem or you don't have feelings for Hakeem, but you got Hakeem at your place. All trying to just. Just. Uh, uh, like, really? strong for a minute until Kevin felt like something was something wasn't right or something wasn't done and with the simple fact that I think it was their anniversary or whatever because like no Vanessa and Kevin were friends you know they met at this um thing to talk about their addictions or whatever and it was like very, very like seldom to the point where it was like, oh my God. Like, I didn't even know that they were even dating. To this day, I didn't really like them together in the first place. But that's my opinion. That's my perspective. But either way it went, it, it, it didn't work at all. I'm telling you that now. It, the relationship 
didn't last long or anything like that. No. I'm a Stacy. Who knew Stacy liked girls in this actually? Who knew that Stacy was actually dating girls? I didn't know. Honestly, I, I just did not know. Like us for one. From the at the end of the season, after the whole wedding, we just seen Stacy go back to her apartment. I just go back to the apartment, and then voila, some girl randomly pops up and ended up with Stacy. No, but somehow in this season she ends up with Stacy. Like how? At this point, I'm like, Bill Magama, Bill Magama, Jinx, my nigga, Jinx. job and see you know what's been going on no of course the promotion and up to off a little bit or whatever I mean with Tori Tori has been you know a big you know been working hard on what she does but the jaw drop it out I'm gonna just skip around this I mean from season two From season two. See, I already knew about Valerie having, well, dating or being with Nathan first. But I didn't know technically Valerie and Nathan really wasn't meant to be together. Like, literally. Like, seriously. But the jaw dropper was Valerie shows up at Eden's place. But, my question is, how? Why the jaw dropper, yo? Why would we have to, why did we end up finding out that Eden and Valerie are even cousins? I mean, I mean, Valerie, in all technicality, was supposed to be with Nathan. But in my, but my personal opinion, which turned into a true statement, Valerie had an opportunity. Anyway, so what that was going to leave Nathan in the dust. So, so I feel like Terry with Tori in season two was, was on point. You know, I felt like what she did was right because of the simple fact that Valerie wasn't going to, wasn't going to be with Nathan for long in the first place. But then again... Tori should, but then again, I understand Valerie a little bit more because Tori should have told her one on one, even though they were, even though if they were, if they were best friends or not. I feel like if you are feeling some type of way or used to have a crush on that person's boyfriend, let them know off top, and if they understand, and they're not gonna. Like get mad at that. They gonna have. They gonna be in their feelings about it, but they ain't gonna feel it no type of way. Honestly, that's how I feel about it. So that was like the end of like episode one. No, like episode two, because this had my head hurting to the teeth, honey. You know. And like when I say that this was like all freaking planned. It out, I found out that Valerie sent. You know what? I 
talking about this? Valerie sent Eden just to see if Nathan and Trevor are going to make it to the altar. Girl. 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 From what, from what perspective did you think this was going to actually work? It didn't work. So now you mad about, about nothing. That could have been easy before doing it. You could have been warming up and talked to Tori when you, when you popped up. But why would you want to keep you being in town a secret? And then send your cousin to do your dirty work. I find it a bit shady. I find it a bit shady. Completely shady. Out of order, yes. Out of whack, yes. Out of line, totally. But that's y'all. That's y'all. You know. I'm gonna like let y'all do what y'all. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let that do or whatever. But the thing was. Why would you want to show back? Why would you want to show your face and start commotion and drama and just have this to actually happen? Like, dead ass. Like, explain to me. Like, explain everything to me. Now, now, off of that, on to the next thing. Okay, the marriage and as a honeymoon phase is like done for Tori and Nathan. So you know, Tori still doesn't know about Nathan quitting his job. Tell your girl that you quit your job? Seriously? Like, you really trying to be secretive about this, huh? Mmm. Shameful. Very, very shameful. My head hurts by actually thinking. At this point, yeah. Like, dead ass. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? Just why? Like, tell me. Help me help you help me. Because, like, all I can, this is all I'm saying. Having her look stupid in the face while she was here working hard. 
Like, like, I should just slap you. Literally. Just. So at least to them, you know. You know, but the thing was, I peeped out that Tori was beating that Zane, honey. That Zane Chronicles. I like that. I read that. I mean, I know it's like a sex, like a book about people telling their sex stories or whatever, or their sexual escapades. But I don't care. I love it because they get the, they actually go just into details about what they actually experience with sex, honey. You know, and that's what I like about it. know that Nathan was all talk or whatever. Saying that you know he can he can do he can he, he can do he was gonna do some like all talk like what the hell Nathan? why is you all talking no game like you just all talking all game. You just all talk but no game, bro. Like, and honestly, at this point, I would have been like Tori. I, if I was Tori, I would have been like, dude, like you, you saying me that you gonna do this? Come show me. C- come show me. But if you say all night tonight, nigga, at that particular point, you would have gotten raped, <laughs> literally. Like that. You wouldn't have gotten it. You, you wouldn't have gotten it. You would have woke up with kitties, like, with a kitty all in, with the kitty all lady face. <laughs> you know, then waking up with you hand, actually you waking up handcuffed to the bed. With breakfast, coming in with breakfast, and you know, just making you feel all types of good. But before that, you gonna have to work for this breakfast, uh, for your breakfast, for you. Like seriously, I would cook. Woke up with breakfast in bed after while you handcuffed and everything. You feel me? Like all of that good stuff. But then again, it switches over yet again to Karen Raheem. Yet again, let me take two sips. Actually, let me take four sips instead of thirsty hours. And so the apprenticeship begins, learning from the man himself. Wait, this is the perfect chance to protect you in a vulnerable situation. I'm losing operation here, brother. Sir, I'll go in first. Like, we can't remember him. I'm done. They going back and forth, fucking around, and not know. He still has a girlfriend. Big name by Lexus. I think I believe so. I forgot her name. That actually gave Valerie that job to go out to San Francisco. Like, this is all I can think of. But like, this is all I can think of. It's just quietness. Good morning. Good morning, sir. So, uh, to begin at the beginning. 
Like def- this is all I can actually do with just Like, so, like, for real. Like, we all know. But his girlfriend is gonna find out that. Alexis, well, Alexis is gonna find out about it. So, why? Like, why? So, I'm done. I'm, I'm just done with them. On to the next one. Kira. Not here. What's, no, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> Kevin and Vanessa no longer together and stuff like that. So it's just you already know the situation. So we're just gonna go on to the next, the next part, especially to the next. Stacy. Like, definitely, like, I'm, like, I'm done with certain characters, at, with, with certain people and close friends. Valerie is one of them. Eden, mm, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I'm gonna just go on to episode, I'm gonna do that thing about episode three. I'm gonna skip episode three, four, or three or four, and give y'all five and six. Because three or four, it, mm, it, 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 I'm done, I was done. Kara finding out at the last minute that Valerie was in town. Valerie being all extra shady and all extra two-faced. He switched commentators' watches at the worst moment, causing you to completely ruin your sweat. Like, did you... Valerie, why? Are you trying to get yourself beat? <laughs> Like, are you trying to get yourself beat? Like, th- just tell me. Like, seriously, that's just all types of wrong. And then Tori's worried about the marriage and Nathan hiding stuff from her, which she knows. It's just that Nathan is not really telling her nothing. It's just for the simple fact that he does, his, that he's doing his job. His own job, which is booking for fitness and stuff. Which was the thing. But we didn't know that Raheem's sister was Stacy's girlfriend. That, now that's a jaw dropper. What? Like, this, this, this is just, 
that that this is just completely madness, pretty much. My own episode of the shit. <laughs> When they find out, Nathan goes and gets cussed and every gets yelled at by Tori. When Tori finally find out that Nathan quit his job and everything that he's working with his clients on fitness and stuff like that, it's just. It, oh my god, it, it, oof. You lost that game deliberately, knowing you'd lose my trust forever. And all for the greater good of Elmore? There couldn't be a more worthy person to become my son in law. How, Sway? How? And then we already know about Kira and Raheem. So far, just leftovers, not leftovers, but what? We didn't get a game. Tori is wasn't close. Hey, Tori was close enough to hit me and had a heat. Oh, I See, if I was Tori, I would have been put the hurt on him. Like, bang. I would have told that, bang. Hold my, hold my jacket, my bag. Give me a scrunch at the car. Because I'm like, we, if he just popping up on the nap for me, and I don't go for all that, that that's just rude. That's just very disrespectful. But the thing was, Nathan's been fantasizing about other females, though. So. So, yeah. You know, it was, like, all over the place. I just couldn't build and that was still being messy and whatever. But Tori let Nathan sleep. With Aiden. Knowing that Tori's going for some type of way, and y'all knew that she was going to end up going back to her ex boyfriend. I just need to know. Like, what was all of that for? Like, were y'all just. Like, how? Oh, Betty, let me take a couple sips for the Thursday house. Really, Sway? Really? Is that what we do now? Like, why? But that episode six, though. Mm hmm. Nathan gets the promotion, and you know, Nathan got the promotion that he's been dying to get, or whatever. But Nathan does not show up at home. He did not, well, blocks, not blocks, but ignore her calls from Nathan's phone. So it's like, oh, see at this point, I've been ready to pop even her though, right when the phone call got ignored. Showing up at a place, yo, where my husband at? Like, where is my husband? Tell me now, so I won't have to rearrange your face. Like, just, just tell me, and I'll go get him. If not, I'ma beat you. But Valerie over here is sitting in boxes to somebody's house. Of uh, panties and boxes and whatever. Valerie, you messy. You just messy. 
so now you're gonna karma's gonna come back on you because you say you cannot deal or you couldn't deal with the simple fact that Tori and Nathan was supposed to be together all because you took that opportunity to go to San Francisco like seriously Like, that's how I honestly feel. You were being all you being all extra shady and whatever. So now, since she done ruined the marriage, and Nathan knows that you in town, you You go, you got what you asked for, but it's gonna come back on you, and you just gonna be, you just gonna be done. So, off of that, off that subject, because I'm done with Valerie. So. Stacy. No. Kevin and his new, in his new boo. They don't really know much about each other. It's, actually, they know a little bit about each other, but they just don't know the backstory of about the last relationships that they were in. Oh, whatever. So, yeah, it's just... Man, that was too much. Well, I guess one's okay. Well, all I can say was I'm done. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. And after this video, I will be doing a tag for you guys. So that you guys know and actually tell y'all, mom, how I actually got in the close friend in the first place. And on that, how I want to end up in the next season or in the next episode. So remember that you're so sincere with the win. Bye, guys.